On today's show, we have the brilliant Acacia Annabelle, an award-winning entrepreneur and tech ecosystem builder. In 2015, she founded and developed AB2020, a company set up to promote and encourage business and investment in Ghana and Sub-Saharan Africa. This year, Acacia founded the Tech in Ghana Conference, raising awareness of Ghana's tech ecosystem and boosting its profile among UK investors, business peers, and the wider tech community, giving a platform for local global partnerships between the two territories. So you recently founded the Tech in Ghana Conference. What was it that gave you the determination to bring the conference to life? I think it was the going to lots of London, like Africa events in London, and seeing the conversation be, you know, focused around tech in South Africa and in Kenya and um, also Nigeria, and rightfully so. Uh, however, I was fully aware of what was happening in tech in Ghana, and I was just determined to give um, that a platform. So that was my drive. It was really about showing that there are other places on the continent that are doing fantastic things in technology. Do you think there are some naive perceptions about how tech savvy African consumers really are? Definitely. I think there's some preconceived ideas of, uh, based off of some sort of notions that have been pushed out about Africa in the past. I think that's definitely um, had an effect on the way people think about what you know tech in Africa looks like and what it means. But uh, there are some real sort of geniuses on the continent and in some ways the continent even leads in innovation. So uh, those perceptions are starting to change, luckily because of things like social media and blogs and events that are starting to highlight those things. Um, um, but there are still, I think, some definitely um, old notions that need to be knocked on the head. How has technology changed the way that you manage your business? Uh, probably by the way I interact with the team that I work with. So previously, you know, in, in my previous business, I would have face-to-face -to -face meetings on a regular basis. Nowadays, we have, you know, WhatsApp groups or, you know, email chains and various different apps that allow us to keep each other up to date with what we're doing. And it helps because we obviously travel a lot. Um, I'm on the continent a lot as well. So it's um, been a tremendous resource. <laughs> How do you feel that technology can be a bridge between Africa and the world, in your opinion? I think it can bring Africa onto a level, level playing field, you know, with the rest to the global community uh, through various different ways, um, wh whether that be financial inclusion, e-commerce, um, but I do also feel that the narrative that I alluded to earlier can also be changed through, you know, the platforms that allow people to see through the eyes of Africans, you know, what's actually taking place on the continent and again to be able to, um, I suppose, highlight some of the real positive uh, successes that uh, on the continent as well. What impact has mobile money had on how people transfer money in Africa? Huge impact. Mobile money um, has is continuing to grow. GSMA had a report recently that stated that 277 million registered users um, are, are using mobile money in Africa at the moment. This is significantly higher than the number of people who have bank accounts. That in itself shows you, you know, what an impact it's having. Um, there are large populations of the adult community as well in places like Ghana and other and other countries in Africa uh, that are using mobile money on a regular basis whether that be to pay bills to collect remittances send money internationally and all of that so it's having a huge impact I think it will continue to do so what advice as an entrepreneur in tech yourself could you give to women looking to build a career in technology I think tech is one of the best things that could have happened to, to women to be honest I think for, for us to, just to take it from a completely different angle you know for us who want to maybe have families or who want to travel uh, you know tech enables you to do that as a woman um, I really don't think women should be deterred at all by the fact that it's an industry dominated by men uh, I do strongly think that women especially on the continent are going to have uh, play a huge part in tech. Tech's going to empower them and uh, I think subsequently they're going to end up empowering the world. So, girl power all the way. Amazing. Thank you so much, Akasio.